Hi, I'm Sir St. Felix, and today I'll be talking about how to create a reusable template in Adobe Acrobat Sign. So let's get started. So here I have this reusable template. It's a non-disclosure agreement, and I need to send this out for signature. And what I want to do is I want to make this agreement available for all my users who's, who has the Acrobat Sign. So my agreement is pretty much ready to go. I have my verbiage and I have a place where I'll have signatures for my first and second party. And again, this is just a sample template, uh, but what you would use is any of your non-disclosures uh, to create reusable templates within Acrobat Sign. And so now I'm gonna jump into Acrobat Sign. And the first place I'll go to from the home screen is the area where it says create a reusable template. So there's three areas uh, of, uh, to note when you're creating a usable template. First, we have our template name. Then we have the actual file itself. And then over to the right-hand side, this is where you have your template type as well as who can use the template. And so let's talk a little bit about the template type. So the template type has three different options. One, a reusable document. Two, a reusable form field layer. Or three, both. So a reusable document is just basically taking that document that you just saw and making that available for reuse within Acrobat Sign. Now, if it's just a reusable document with no form fields, that's all it is, which brings me to the next section, the reusable form field layer. So let's say, for example, the actual, form, uh, the actual document is in different languages, but where the signature fields are, those are the only things that need to be you know, changed. Here you can actually just use a form field layer to apply over the document that comes in various different languages, but it's going to use the same form field. Or you can do both, where you have the actual document along with the form fields ready to go. And so for this demo, we'll have both the reusable document and form field layer selected as I select both. As far as who can use the template, this is where you're going to allow individuals in your group and so if I have different groups set up, I can have different individuals in my group. If I'm the only one that wants to use the document, then I can just select only me. Or if I want everyone in my organization to be able to use the document, then that's what I would select. So the last thing I need to do here is add the actual document that we were just looking at into Acrobat Sign. So I'll go ahead and click on Add Files, and I can browse from my computer and here I'm going to select NDA template and then once that loads you'll notice that the file name gets uh, is used for the template name I can change this at any time so I can call this NDA template 2022 and then I'll click on preview and add fields and so at this point what Acrobat Sign is doing is it's taking the document it's scanning it and then it's going to prepare it for authoring. So here we have our document. And notice that as I start to scroll down, on the left-hand side, you see this message with a numeric value that just appeared. What it's saying here is, as the document was being scanned, it detected that there are some form fields that Acrobat Sign needs to add. And so if I click on this message, automatically these form fields will be added to the areas where I need a signature, a name, and a date. And what's nice is this is powered by our machine learning tool, Adobe Sensei, where it can intelligently look at the document and identify if it's a signature field or if it's a regular text field. So the only thing I need to do here is just make sure that all my users are have the right assignment. So for the first party, it's assigned to participant one. If I look at full name in which when the document is signed, the individual's full name will appear. This is as well assigned to the first participant. And then last, we have our date field that's assigned to the first participant. Now down below, I'm gonna to need to make a, an assignment to our second participant. And what you're gonna notice automatically is that the color of the field will change. This helps you visually see who's going to actually sign the, uh, the agreement and which party. And so my first party will be signing in the areas where it's yellow, and my second party will be signing the area where it's tan. If I were to have multiple, uh, multiple recipients, I would have additional colors to designate who's signing what area. 
Once I'm done with adding the form fields, I can click save and that's all there is to it. And that's how you create a usable template in Adobe Acrobat Sign. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.